What is going on guys? This is failing YouTuber Marvin and I really do not feel like yelling YouTube gameplay today because I possibly had quite possibly had the best game of Black Ops 2 that I've ever had in my life. A 90 to 1 quad swarm on the map pod in the game mode kill confirmed using the A94 and I can't present you guys the full gameplay today. I can present you half of it because theater mode fucked it up. You guys are going to be seeing 46 and 0 and then that's where it cut off and then I'll show you guys after that and you guys will see exactly what happened. It just didn't record it all because of the host migration. So, when I went to theater to record it, it saved about four minutes of the game, which ended up being right around half of it. And it counted the score as 64 to 1, even though it was a 90 to 1. And I just want to say this now, guys. If you guys think I'm lying about going 90 and 1, for one thing, the kids were really bad. For another thing, you guys have seen my other gameplays. You know I'm a monster. Come on. I got a nuked out when I, and posted that only when I had 100 subscribers. And then, for another thing, if I was going to lie to you, why would I say 90 and 1? And I didn't get a nuclear, by the way, guys. If I was going to lie, I would have said I went 100-0, got five swarms, and got a nuclear, but I didn't. I died right after I got my third swarm. I was on about a 24-gun streak, I believe, just because I was rushing too hard. It wasn't even a bullshit death or anything, and then I still ended up getting four swarms and dominating, but you guys won't be able to see that, and it just really sucks, and I just wanted to address this issue. Theater mode is a piece of shit. They need to fix some things. They need to fix the lightning strike so you can actually see it. I think they should actually add the real game winning kill cam just so it looks just normal. Because actually, if you guys didn't know, in MW3 theater mode, you could actually see that. Maybe they could add some different point of view type things or something. Although I think they already did pretty good with that, with the cinematics and such. But they really need to fix the host migration issue. And another thing is it was in my v recent victory. So. If you guys don't know, even if there's a host migration, sometimes you'll be saved because there's a thing called recent victories as well as recent games. And I actually won the game, obviously, because I went 90 and 1. How would we lose if I went went with that score, right? And it just didn't show up in the recent victories. I'm not sure why. I do believe there was two host migrations, but still, they should fix that. I can understand it being two different videos in theater mode, even if there was a couple of host migrations or something. But they shouldn't delete the video entirely. They need to get that fixed. I want you guys to tweet this video of Vonderheart so they can figure out exactly what they need to do to fix it. And... Another question I know you guys are going to be trying to bring up to me is why weren't you just recording the whole time? And my deal is this. I don't have $2,000 to drop into some expensive-ass PC with 5 terabytes of space where I can record all day, all night, it won't matter, and then I'm never run out of space. My computer will run out of space and then they'll start messing up the recording. As you guys saw in my uh, noob tube trolling video on Free For All, the recording was messing up at the end. I had to factory reset since then and that was just a very irritating process of trying to do that. You know, I don't want to have to be doing that. I can't be taking up a ton of space, so I can't record all the time. That's why theater mode is nice, but then they screwed it up. They can't just can't have it fixed. So, anyway, Black Ops 3 is coming out in exactly a month for making this video. Right now it is October 6th, and the game's going to be coming out in November 6th, so pretty much a 31-day month from right now. So, if you guys are going to be doing any pre-ordering, I would recommend doing that pretty soon in case... Well, they're not going to run out. It would just be a good idea to get it done and off your plate, so you don't have to be thinking about it a week from when the game's coming out. And end up forgetting, so I don't know if there's actually any, um, what is it called, uh, pre-order bonuses for the old gen consoles as they're going to call them. If you guys didn't know, the old gen actually doesn't come with campaign, it's going to be 50 bucks, so you don't have to spend the full 60. I don't know, I'm not that into campaign to begin with, so I guess for me it's just $10 cheaper for the game, but I know a lot of people are actually into it. A lot of people actually, if you guys don't know, most people buy the game Call of Duty 4 campaign itself. You wouldn't think because we always, always just play multiplayer, but a lot of people really are interested in those campaigns, which I won't lie, the campaigns always are very good. So, anyway guys, if this video doesn't get just a shit ton of likes, if this video doesn't get a ridiculous amount of likes, so the fact that I went 90 and 1, and I didn't kill myself because it didn't record, I might just cut my own balls off, because that just disgusts me. It really pisses me off. Anyway guys, this has been Failing YouTuber Marvin. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. Peace out.